Guild Guitars has debuted three new models. We're going to tell you all about them, so stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas, and you can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and like our videos. And if you want to support the channel, visit our Spring Store link below for custom swag and check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional. So we're big fans of Guild USA Guitars. They've got three new models and two finishes uh, that we're going to be talking about today. Hey. Exciting news. I'm, I really like kind of these this retro-esque. It's like, do you know what resto mod is in yeah. guitars? Or yeah. in cars? In cars. This, this yeah. kind of feels like a resto mod of a, a guitar. A little resto mod action. Yeah. Well, did you ever watch that Gas Monkey? Gas show? Monkey, sure. Yeah, they have some good stuff on there. They do. That's just the first thing that popped in my mind. It's word association. Uh, we're, we're, time. <laughs> yeah. That's good. We're playing word association. On our next podcast, we'll be talking about guitars and gas monkey. Um, yeah, so I've got the F40. Um, and the Pacific Sunset Burst. Pacific Sunset. And you've got the Rosewood D50. I've got the D50. And so. Is that the Sunburst? This is not. Oh, that's but natural. You do have the Sunny right behind you. Oh, so, natural. Um, the D50 does come in a burst. It's not the Pacific Sunset Burst. It's just normal antique, like three tone sunburst. I think it fits. The rosewood the, fits the rosewood, and then the Pacific Sunset, fits which we will show you, fits on the mahogany, which is the D40 and the F40. Um, but yeah, these guitars are finally out. Um, I got to see all of these at NAM, and we were told it was going to be a June or July release, and it got pushed to an August release. But um, that's cool because that means they took their time and they have guitars now to ship. And that so, means we got more time with them. Yeah, we got a little more time with them. <laughs> we got plenty of time with these, and uh, I think they're really sharp. They are, it's, guilds take, these are the standards. So mm -hmm. not the, like the D40 traditional, everybody knows that guitar. Beautiful spruce mahogany, dreadnought. These are the standards, which are what they're calling vintage gloss, but it's like a nice half semi-gloss satin kind of thing. Right. Um, still a nitro finish, but just a little more knocked down. Like we like them, so. Yeah, it's a finish we've seen some other manufacturers do. Um, I think what Martin's authentic line is kind of has something that's similar to this. Yeah. Um, but it, to me, it's my favorite take on satin because it's not a completely flat, it's not a completely gloss, but as the light hits it, you definitely see that there's a sheen to it. Yeah. Um, there's a bit of a reflection to it. Um, but it's not really sticky and shiny, yeah. candy coated like. Um, and it's so I like it. It's also not like a open pore satin that's like, so we've seen that with some other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, namely, in my mind, I'm thinking the Gibson Faded Collection. Right. Um, that was a really, really thin satin. And some people don't love that as much. I mean, you can feel it, hear, hear this, it, yeah. you know, you can hear the, the touch on there, but those ones, it's like, it's very, very thin, very satin to the point where it's almost raw. Yeah. This is definitely a nitro finished guitar, just not as super candy coat gloss. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think they feel really good. It, they're super light. And they um, resonate really well as a result Resonate of great, it. yeah. So these are pretty nice. Everybody, I mean, on, on the channel, we've talked a lot about the D40s and D20s and stuff, but we are holding two guitars that we haven't really dove into that much. Um, so I got the D50, Chris got the F40, big old jumbo, mm -hmm. spruce mahogany. Spruce mahogany, uh, regardless of which finish you get. So if it's the natural or if it's in this Pacific Sunset Burst, which uh, I dig, it is a really nice caramely coloring on this. So I, I personally, I think I like this better than the, the natural finish. You've got the great guild bridge and uh, Pick guard, which I think you've said in the past, you really have dug. Yeah. Um, nice, crisp, you know, classic look and line. So you've got your uh, white binding and uh, this nice, you know, multi-piece uh, rosette, faux tortoise shell. So all of the faux tortoises are are fine. Hard to come by these days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then the burst is continued in a way that I, I really like how manufacturers have been doing it uh, because it's on the top and then on the back and sides and the neck, which is really nice. It's a good looking guitar. African mahogany um, on this. And then on the headstock, you've got on all these guitars, these open gear tuners with the plastic buttons, which I, I like how they've done this because it's not the, they're vintage looking, but they're not vintage. So yeah. these are not the old press on style 
plastic buttons that if you've ever played a vintage guitar, you know it'll just kind of break one day and then you've got to replace the whole tuning machine. These are held on with screws, so they're replaceable um, and they feel really good. And of course, you've got your classic Guild logo up on the headstock. Yeah, they're, I mean, I like the jumbo. I think it's cool. Um, other jumbos that we do quite a bit of are typically spruce and rosewood mm -hmm. or spruce and maple. But I think it's nice to get the warmth of maho uh, mahogany and kind of the mid-range. It's such a big guitar, you get that low-end boom, but it's not just all lows and highs. You get right. a nice mid-range and stuff. But in terms of another wood, um, D50 is East Indian Rosewood, and I've only ever played D40s, you know, yeah. when it comes to Guild Dreadnought. And I think, you know, one, it's a nice looking pair, a nice looking set on here. Works really well with the satin, nice back uh, purfling stripe. But um, I think for people that are into the D40 and into the Guild aesthetic and the vibe and, the, you know, the overall feel of the guitar, it's nice with the new series having the mahogany and rosewood option because some people want the rosewood so it's it's nice so did you never play a d55 when we would get one i in? did play a d55 okay. but the thing is that's the luxury extreme high end well that's what i like about this particular guitar though yeah. is because the d55 which we dubbed like chocolate cake with chocolate the, because cake. of the richness yeah. of it um, this is a stripped down version. Yeah. So it's really more of like the, the working man's style of guitar or someone who wants to, you know, forego all of that aesthetic richness with the inlay and, yeah. and whatnot, but still have that classic sound of that Rosewood Dreadnought. You know, I didn't immediately think of the D55 is because they're hard to get and we haven't had one forever and they've yeah. been on order forever. Well, that's why so, I had asked. Yeah. like every time we've gotten one and it's sold, did you not get the chance it's, to play that's it? That's the thing. It's crazy because D40 traditional, not super easy to get a hold of either. And but also sells pretty much as soon as Sells immediately. But we get those, like we've had a few over the last few months or whatever, but the D55, I think I've held two and they're usually when we're looking them over to ship them out immediately. Yeah. So I didn't even think about the D55, but that is a fantastic guitar. This is for everybody that's looking for um, an obtainable version. That sound stripped down. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like so yeah, that's that's great. And then obviously on you top- You want to me the 50? Yeah, let I'll me give it. you that. Show, show the, the trio here. That's the trio right there, and yes, they all come in a second finish. So we got the Natties right here. This one comes in that Pacific Sunset. Which this is one comes back there. Yeah, well, you can see them in the background. But this is the D40, um, probably my go-to favorite when it comes to Guild uh, USA acoustics. Mahogany on the back and sides, and uh, just a classic look and a clean-looking guitar. They smell fantastic. <laughs> that's um, always important. That's one of the biggest deals to me is if it's not smelling good, I'm not playing good, you know, but um, I dig them all. I think they're all great additions and slightly more affordable. Mm -hmm. I, I think Guild is one of the more, you know, I'm not going to say inexpensive because they're not inexpensive Value guitars. Oriented. Yes, they're still expensive yeah. USA made acoustic guitars. That's what you're going to expect with any of the brands that we talk about on here when it comes to Made in USA. But these shave a few hundred dollars off the price of what you would get on like a normal D40 traditional. So yes, you're getting a little bit of a break when it comes to the finish, mm -hmm. um, but they did not cut any corners with the finish. Yes, yeah. it's, it's really, it's for a purpose of the look and the feel and everything. Luckily they passed that on with savings on acoustic guitars uh, as well, but I don't, think of these necessarily as like a lower grade version. I think they're just different and for a different kind of player that wants the knockdown satin kind of look and they did a really good job with it. Oh, they all sound great and they all bring something unique to the collection with their own tone. So mm -hmm. we should check that out.
Well, there you have it. Great sound that's unique for each one. I, I like that we were able to compare that F40 and the D40 because same tone woods, but you can get an idea of what's going on because of the difference in the body shapes. Um, let's talk about some of the other specs on it. So 111/16 inch nut width, right? Mm -hmm. um, I've always found that the D neck profile is really nice on these. Yeah. Uh, and the way that they do the heel is very comfortable. So, you know, some manufacturers will do kind of a rounded heel so that as you move up, it's a lot more comfortable and they'll do that on specific models. But this is kind of this standard low oval uh, heel that Guild's kind of always had, which I find to be extremely comfortable. Some might even say like a modified low oval. <laughs> Maybe so. Wait. Maybe so, except it's not one and three quarter inch. Yeah. You know, and I, I've gone on record, I prefer one and three quarter inch nut widths, but I actually really like the playability and setup of these guitars, which I think speaks to how well they're being made. Um, the fret height seems to be ideal. The neck shape is really good, and the setup right out of the box on these is nice. You know, we yeah. never, one of the things we do on this channel is we, we take stuff out and we play it. We don't send it through our shop and get it worked on first because that really wouldn't be genuine to the experience of buying one of these guitars and, and getting it without having a setup. Um, and these just don't need anything, which is really fantastic. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I think they're cool. I am never the type to immediately gravitate towards a jumbo, probably because, like you say, we're not dunking on folks. Yeah. But <laughs> the thing is, I think a lot of manufacturers are going towards smaller body guitars. Mm -hmm. And it's nice that they see the value in their F shape and they're extending it because everybody likes the big old jumbo 12 strings from them. Yeah. They have really nice import versions like the F-150 Lariat Super Duty King Ranch. <laughs> um, and so I like that there is a somewhat affordable uh, jumbo option built in America because I, I don't I, maybe it's just my own perception I feel like jumbos like this are getting less and less and little concert bodies and stuff like that but besides SJ 200s and yeah. some, you know Martin is not doing a ton of jumbos Taylor has grand orchestras but they're a little bit different I think a classic old-school jumbo one of my favorite bands right now the lemon twigs I've seen um, you know, Michael from that band playing Guild Jumbo. It's just, there's a lot of cool players right now that are of a younger indie generation playing on Guilds. So it's kind of perfect time, I think, to put some of these out. Well, I think Guilds always had that kind of alternative aspect of it. Uh, if you go back far enough, they were like the Martin Gibson alternative. Um, they still are. You throw Taylor yeah. in that mix now, and Guild's kind of that alternative U.S. builder. And they've got their own thing going for them, which I think is a very cool vibe. Um, and I'm one of those guys, I, sometimes I like f discovering the gym that everybody else has glossed over, you yeah. know? Um, like, I, I was an early Mac user before it was cool to have an Apple product, you know, when you were, like, part of some select group. Um, this guy was in the meetings with <laughs> Steve Wozniak and... Woz gave me a Lisa... No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and I remember before Taylor was who Taylor is now, yeah. people were like, what is a Taylor? And it's yeah. like... So I, I feel like Guild uh, encompasses that. I, I think I've told this story before, but when I was in high school and I first started playing guitar, one of my friend's dads had an old Guild jumbo that he pulled mm -hmm. out of the case and handed to me once. And it was, it was the first time I played a really nice higher-end US-made guitar and it left an impression. Yeah. So, yeah, I've always been a fan. These are great guitars. They all come with cases. They all come you know? with hard shell case. And come in different finishes. Very durable, come in different finishes. It's really just a non-cut and corners American-made acoustic guitar that I think is priced very well. And they got the tone woods and the body shapes and the playability that you're looking for. And, um, you know, when it comes to dreadnoughts, like a, we're talking too much about other guitars, but D18s, D28s, like they are more expensive. Mm -hmm. They are maybe harder to get a hold of. They're a good reference point. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, those are great. You should also look at these. Yeah. By the way, th these are all scalloped X-braced guitars. Mm -hmm. I'd love to actually dig into what the bracing is at some point with Guild on this, because when you... <laughs> You look in the sound hole, you see an extremely scalloped brace around the sound hole, which is just unusual. Extreme Usu scallops. Yeah, yeah. usually it's like little popsicle stick 
you know, bracing and that's about yeah. it. So to look in the sound hall and see this like attention to detail and, and little point of scalloping right yeah. there is, is kind of crazy. They call it seared scallop <laughs> with risotto. Oh, that sounds really good. I'm just getting a little hungry over here. They're smelling good and we're talking about scallops. Um, but yeah, I think they knocked it out of the park with these. Finally, we can talk about them. They've been sitting in our store forever with post-it notes that say, please don't sell these because they're not out yet. Um, and we've had a few close calls. Nobody has leaked the info, but um, yeah, they're, they're awesome guitars. And I think they will make a lot of people happy if you've been looking for a Dreadnought or a Jumbo, these just entered the mix as viable options. And now you can officially get them, so if you're interested, you should go to our website, which is... alamomusic.com, okay? All the information, photography's on there, and you can chat with someone and ask all the questions and uh, you know, figure out which one of these three in the trio works best for you, or just buy one of each, or one of each in every color. So that's six guitars. Don't worry, we can get it shipped to you. No it's problem. called bulk discount. <laughs> So yeah, so go to our website, message us, or come in and play them in person so you can see for yourself how fantastic these are. And if you're new to our channel and you like guitar reviews and demos and general news about the industry, then you've come to the right place. Make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you like our videos, comment what you think about these, and keep coming back. We'll see you next time.